I'm from New York City, uh, where I practice interventional neurology, but I run a company called Synchron in California. We are developing both hardware, which is a medical device, and software to enable an implant into the brain to allow patients with paralysis the ability to control assistive technologies where they couldn't otherwise move. The basic concept of the idea was two things. One is that you can take a stent and put sensors on the stent that can record activity around the blood vessel. The second is that you could put that near a part of the brain that you can learn how to control. The area of the brain that we understand the best is called the motor cortex, which is the command center of the brain, which is what's flashing up right now as I move my hands. I had done at Monash University an honors year under Professor Paul Fitzgerald in motor cortical physiology, giving me an understanding of how that part of the brain works. And then I saw this emerging area of using the blood vessels to get up into the brain to perform minimally invasive brain surgery, which I thought was, was cool and I wanted to do. The combination of those two things was kind of obvious to me that they would come together. Um, it just was that no one had done that before. We've been developing this technology for over six years now. I would have to say the most rewarding moment would have been the point about three years ago when this device that we had been building really on the shelf, Dr. Nick Opie, who's the CTO of the company, was making these devices by hand and we showed for the first time that it was possible to record from brain activity from inside of a blood vessel. And at that moment, we realized we were onto something new and interesting. We're very well placed to be one of the first companies to deliver a technology to the market to help patients who have a severe condition of paralysis that not previously has had any treatment available to those patients. So I think we have a chance to make a contribution in that space.